today's chief guest, Rajat Kumar sir, uh, Mr. Frank Avila, uh, Tata Prakashan Garu, an inspiration to, to all the youngsters here because despite being 83 years and despite facing any number of obstacles in trying to get things done, he comes back unstoppable <laughs> all the time. Uh, and uh, his love for his uh, country of, uh, of birth uh, brings him here. The <clears throat> representative from Mata, Harichandana, my colleague, who is of course turning out to be the face of, of GHMC in Hyderabad. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> and of course, uh, the esteemed audience. Uh, we are all aware that uh, we are holding this conference uh, at a very, very crucial time. Mr. Uh, Mr. Sham has already informed as to how the CPCB and the NGT have very categorically stated that the river stretches, the lakes which have been contaminated, reports vary from, from, from report to report. For example, in Niti Aayog, it says 70% of the water is contaminated. Some reports say about 90% of the water is contaminated. In most of the cities today, we see that <clears throat> because of treatment facilities, about, about less than 50% of the water gets treated. Now we are aware that approximately 20 to 25 percent of all the diseases that are there in India are because of water-related diseases and because of the fact that we don't treat the water that we consume and this water goes back in, into agriculture, this water actually gets recirculated. And 21 percent is a huge number of the diseases that are, are affecting the people because of lack of treatment of water. Only 33 percent of the people in India have access to traditional sanitation. And we are saying that by 2030, the water requirement will double in our country. Also, the population is increasing, the kind of food that we are eating. In fact, we recently did, uh, <clears throat> on Valentine's Day, we did something like avoiding food waste. Food itself consumes so much amount of water. In fact, it will be amazing to know that one kg of rice takes about 2,500 liters of water. If it was, it was bislary water, it will cost you 50,000 rupees to, to actually create one kg of rice. But then, since water is free, we make that water, we, 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 we consume the rice and sometimes throw it away. You know, one kg of rice is just thrown away because it is wasted in, in, in restaurants, etc. That is the amount of water, uh, you know, that we are wasting when we throw away food and therefore we and GHMC together, we try to see to it that 30% of the people of India are poor, 30% of food is wasted, can we match the food waste with the people who are poor? So that was one of the ways in which we tried to save water. Saving food is saving water. Treating, food, treating water is saving the people from health hazards. And, <clears throat> and recycling that, that water. And also, not only that, it's a commitment to the citizens, it's now also legally being enforced that we have to bring the water to bathable quality at least. And that's a huge task. That means we have to address the rivers, we have to address the lakes, we have to address the sewage that is going into the lakes and the rivers. We have to ensure that the industries which are actually like discharging into the lakes and rivers are not polluting the lakes and rivers and what measures are to be taken. And we are taking a number of measures. <clears throat> and in fact, the Deccan Plateau, where we are sitting today, is actually a city of lakes. In fact, we, are, we have a tradition in which every village has about four ponds and therefore we have about 40,000 ponds in the, in, 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 the, in the state of Telangana and Hyderabad is blessed with a number of lakes. And therefore, while it is blessed with these lakes, these water bodies also need to be protected. And for that, a lot of measures we are taking. But today, we have assembled here probably the best scientific brains in the world. And we hope that we can carry together this, this association that EPTRI is infinitely building uh, with the Chicago Metropolitan Water Board as this is the beginning. And we hope that you know, we, we get confused with so many technologies. So many people come up with miracle cures to water. So we want to put the filters understand what works, what is economical, and ensure that we are able to bring together the best of technologies which are economical, sustainable, and acceptable across the world to the state of Telangana and to India, and ensure that you know, we, we, we retrieve the situation of the lakes and rivers from being eutrophied back into bathing quality and probably into a better quality in times to come. Because not just in terms of irrigation, but in terms of also drinking water. For example, the Niti Aayog says, 21 cities are going to run out of water or drinking water. It also says that about 2 lakh Indians are dying because of lack of you know, water stress. 
So these are alarming figures, and therefore we have come together at an appropriate time to, to take this association forward, to start the solutions, and see to it that we do not face the crisis which reports are actually uh, publishing and are talking about. I thank you all, especially Dr. Frank Avila and uh, Tata Prakashan, and of course, <clears throat> our chief election commissioner. He was earlier the principal secretary in environment, and he was extremely, extremely, like, you know, motivated to bring this association forward. He, he told me that we must get the best of scientists in order to resolve these issues, and I hope that we can lay the foundation today. Thank you, sir.